Cheers to you, Patriots fans. It doesn't feel good, does it? What is going on, everybody? Jake the Bills fan here, and we are in Patriots week. Man, does it feel good to finally have the AFC East wrapped up, and the Patriots have nothing to play for. They are out, and they have no chance of making the playoffs. It feels good. It feels really good. And uh, the Buffalo Bills, however... If you've watched my last couple of videos, I've said they still have something to play for. And Bill Belichick knows that. And nobody on a Bill Belichick team is just going to be like, well, our season's over. We're just going to check out. No, because Bill Belichick, he'll cut your ass. If he, know, if he remembers that last season you just checked out when you guys knew that you couldn't win anything. So I don't assume that a Bill Belichick-led team is going to just give up even though they have nothing to play for. So we're going to break down what are the Pats' strengths, what are their weaknesses, and what can the Bills do to win to continue our success and move to 12 wins and still contend for the number two seed in the AFC. So let's start off. What do the Patriots do well? Well, they're good in the red zone with their defense of stopping people from getting into the red zone, and they are pretty good at running the damn ball. I would say they're actually really, really good at running the damn ball. They are sixth in the league for rushing yards and fifth in the league for rushing touchdowns. That's what they do. But God damn it. Let's get into their weaknesses. Um, first off, when I'm making this video, Stefan Gilmore went down with a nasty knee injury in the game against the Dolphins. So as of right now, I still do not know whether or not he will be ready to go for the game on Monday night. Uh, we'll see, but as of right now, I'm going to go on the assumption that Stefan Gilmore will not be playing in that game because the way that he went out, it did look as if he might not be coming back for the rest of the season, not like it matters anyway. So with him being out, definitely look to Stefan Diggs to have a really, really good game against the Patriots, which he still did fairly well last game too. He had 90 yards. You know, we were still able to pass the ball, but you know, the Patriots are really good situationally of knowing how to match up, especially with AFC East opponents. So you already know how it is. Uh, their weaknesses, pass game. They are god awful. Here you go. 30th in passing yards. That in itself is really, really bad. And I think a lot of that has to do with Cam Newton, the quarterback. There still seems to be something wrong with Cam Newton. And there is, I a lot of people want to blame their receivers. And Jacoby Myers and Demir Bird, like, you can say all that. Like, yeah, they're not top-tier receivers, obviously. But sometimes when Cam Newton's throwing to them, he just cannot seem to be able to, on a consistent basis, make really good, accurate passes. He did show glimpses of it at the beginning of the season, but it's like, as the season has gone on, he's gotten worse. And just look at that Dolphins game this week. He looked awful and it showed so definitely uh, 30th in passing yards but here's another thing 32nd in passing touchdowns now the New York Jets own ranked 32nd in almost everything this year when it comes offensively the Patriots are ranked 32nd in the league for passing touchdowns which means they have thrown less passing touchdowns than the New York Jets that is is absolutely awful and you know maybe they can turn it around this game against the uh the buffalo bills but honestly the buffalo bills secondary has only been getting better they have their linebackers back it's going to be a game where the new england patriots are going to try to run it down the buffalo bills throat and the buffalo bills are going to be prepared for it and the receivers are pretty much going to be locked down because everybody's going to be in this game and also their pass rush it's not that great. They're 27th in the league in sacks, and they're 31st in forced fumbles, which means that they're not really good at getting to somebody and ripping the ball out. Uh, usually, when it comes to a Bill Belichick defense, they are usually really, really aggressive. And this year, while they have been able to get turnovers, and that is because of J.C. Jackson, who is having a really good season as well, uh, they haven't really been able to get to the quarterback as much as you'd like, which gives the quarterback time. And if you know anything as a Buffalo Bills fan, you give Josh Allen time, Josh Allen will murder you. 
So definitely going into this game, I don't think this game is going to be as close and a close call as last time. I think the Buffalo Bills will really be able to do a little bit more in this game. So let's get into that. Bills keys to win. Feed whoever is not covered by J.C. Jackson. With Stephon Gilmore out, J.C. Jackson is going to most likely be on the number one receiver in Stephon Diggs. And as of right now, I do not know if John Brown is going to be called up for this game. I would assume that they're going to want to get him a couple of games to get back into shape for the playoffs. Uh, maybe on a limited snap count because of his injury, but definitely feed whoever J.C. Jackson is not covering. I cannot tell you for the life of me who is the corner behind J.C. Jackson, their cornerback three. Couldn't even tell you, but he's definitely not as good as Jackson and Gilmore in the secondary. And, you know, continue to halt the opponent's run game. If you look at the Buffalo Bills since the Seattle Seahawks game, there have been two games where especially the Chargers and the Broncos, who we just played, who are run-heavy teams, uh, even though in my game breakdown of the Broncos and the uh, Bills matchup from this week, I said that uh, Drew Locke really, really tried to throw the ball on the Bills, which he did, but they also got some garbage time rushing yards against the Bills, just trying to not, you know, let them not just kill them completely. So I would definitely say the Buffalo Bills have been really good at stopping the run for the last seven weeks or eight weeks. So definitely something to look at there, especially with the matchup against the Patriots, who are a real run-heavy team because for some reason they are not able to pass the ball. And then my last thing would just be score often and make sure that you don't stall out in the red zone because as I said earlier in the video, the New England Patriots are really good at stopping people in the red zone. And if you can score, which Josh Allen is really good at scoring in the red zone, if you've seen all the stats, I'm not going to bring it up to you. Just look up how Josh Allen is in the red zone, and you'll understand why I'm making this assumption. So just score often, and usually the Patriots are not really good at being able to move the ball very well if you're stopping their run game, and they usually stall out most times, and it leads to uh, Nick Folk having to kick field goals. So if you can score often and make sure you score every time you're in the red zone, you're golden against this team, and you're going to move on to 12 wins and continue to contend for that number two seed. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. I have content that comes out weekly. I also have Bills memes that drop every Saturday or Friday. You know, they were called Saturday Bills memes, but I dropped it on Friday because the game was on Saturday. They're just called Bills memes now. They do come out at the end of the week every week and people seem to enjoy them and make sure to subscribe and put the rest of the AFC East down in the dirt like the real Buffalo Bills have and make sure to join the football mafia because mafia means family and I would love for you to join mine. This is the same Bills channel with the same Bills content. Jake the Bills fan. I'll see you guys in the next video.